Nigeria has been one of the best African countries that foreign countries always seek to their seek for their support concerning any goods or services. A few hours ago, Joe Biden, alongside the U.S. government, has promised to assist Nigeria concerning school abductions and to also fight bandits. If only Nigeria can accept the U.S. amazing offer to assist them. Boko Haram insurgency, banditry, kidnapping, and other criminal activities have been Nigeria's main problems, which are no longer news as this problem have resulted in the death of 10,000 of Nigerians for some years now. U.S. President Joe Biden wants to assist Nigeria concerning the insecurity they are facing if only Nigeria can accept their offer. Well, we are not ready, sir. We have a competent uh, negotiator who is ready to assist Nigeria fight against uh, insecurity. Alakori, you mean Miduman Gumi? Nigeria is ready, but Nigeria government is not ready. But okay, Nigerians are ready. Okay, the government is not ready. This is a big business enterprise they are using to cash out. That is why no one has ever been caught. Tomorrow morning, you will hear news like this. Oh, Boko Haram has been technically, tactically, electronically, magnetically defeated. 20 of their commanders dead with a picture of the same aircraft they showed us 20 years ago. Biden wants to spoil booming economy with a well-developed value value chain. Well, here comes help, but trust me, our blood tested te, te, story catholic government will not want US to help end this horrifying ter terrorism that has plagued our country because the profits of it. Watch how they will keep quiet on this good gesture by the US government government of terrorists. Nigeria cannot be ready when our government is seen chop money inside the deal. Nigeria government will never be ready for this good gesture because they all know what they are all doing. Mr. Biden won't stop this uh, buffalo's cash out. Hmm, well done, sir. Even though you are ready to help us, the buffaloes of Nigeria are not ready to help Nigeria grow new grasses. That is our culture. If the U.S. under Joe Biden wants to help Nigeria in any way, be sure that one major qualification is that Nigeria must accept to legalize gay lifestyle. If U.S. is right now, sincere and conditions of gays and lesbianism is out is good for us they should really state all the conditions attached to this help of course that's a good one if not we don't need any help by the way the nigerian military is capable of handling the situation if not for religious and ethnic bias we are ready for separation we are the nigeria wherever those Boko Haram is god help us apprehended one by one we need help so that is his game plan with the with his boss Barack Obama abominations enemy of God why would he have a wife and children in the first place sodomy the Nigeria we Nigerians are very glad to accept this offer if they are serious not by mouth but by action Buhari government will never accept um, US offer because because of money they are making in the terrorist Nigeria limited this Present government is the CEO and MD of terrorists, so they can't allow us to close their business. It's because of the day in Nigeria. Kidnapping is a lucrative business of the northerners. Nigeria government Baba Ghana Mugunu refused to refuse foreign assistance to curb insecurity, but that Sheikh Gumi, a friend of terrorists arrested in Saudi Arabia for a key role he played in terrorism. That is the reason that is the person Nigeria National Security Advisor is leaving the security of Nigeria in his custody. They think we are dummies. Our mumu don't do so, sir. Mr. Good American President, we they won't allow you because already Nigeria has been captured by the Fulanis. <laughs> Over to Northerners, if they can agree, because that is their main economy. Maybe they are not as that educated. I don't even know because a bullet can kill a terrorist, but one only education can kill terrorism. The government will not accept it because we now understand the deeply involved in all the east of Nigeria. We are ready, but our government not ready because 
of the benefits they are getting from the adoption. You can see these are reactions of Nigerians when the the US government said, Oh, they are going to help. But at the end of the day, who who are we to who are we going to trust? Is it the people who are bringing offer or the people who are supposed to accept the offer? You know, the whole thing is not balanced. But from the angle of the government, the people who are saying uh, their opinion concerning the reactions or what they think about the government, they are all right. But on the other hand, some people are still skeptical. I've been skeptical of this uh, help that hope it's not going to have a uh, conditions because you could see that uh, what uh, Joe Biden is concerned about, you know, try to gag a country who are not even interested in this uh, gay of a thing. So definitely if such person wants to offer you or try to help you, you know that there's something that will want to go uh, with it because nothing goes for nothing. Nothing goes for nothing. That is it. Nothing goes for nothing. So everything has to be looked holistically. They want to help you based on what? Based on because they want they want you to, 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 to have a whatever. <laughs> It is, it is really suspicious because people have seen a lot of these things in the past and it does not go with anything. And some people are saying that, say, yes, it's not, we don't even need all this help because if really we are ready, if we are ready, if the government is ready, they know what to do. But because they are not ready, no matter what you want to even do to them, or the kind of help that you want to render to them, they will not even accept it. So even without even accepting it, we all know what to do. Nigerians have been preferring solutions, but the government of the day is not even ready to do the needful. They don't even, if really they are serious or they are determined or they are genuine in fighting this insurgency, nobody needs to give them advice because they know exactly what to do. You can imagine the National uh, Security Advisor saying that uh, Gumi is ready to help them. And I was wondering, how, how? What is happening? What is really wrong? And Gumi had said it that those who are calling for his arrest, they are jokers, they are clans because the government itself is aware of his movement, which everybody has been talking about, but he has come to confirm it, which now the government is now coming out to say yes. No wonder, of course, for Lai Mohammed to have said yes, they welcome that idea to negotiate, to give them amnesty. It shows that they are part of it because he's not going to say anything outside the government. But it's been so difficult for them to come out all this while to say, uh, yes, we know about uh, Gumi's whereabouts. But now they now know, it's like they now know that Nigerians are fully aware that the government might be part of uh, the uh, movement or the crusade that um, Gumi has been going around to preach to these uh, bandits. They are now coming out because they know that, okay, after all, this is what the people are going to be saying. But it is shameful that with all the money being spent on security, yet nothing has happened. So it is now Gumi. Before, you know, they will give, they must give him one uh, position now. Uh. People have already <laughs> given him uh, 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 a minister of uh, whatever. So guys, uh, let's hear your opinion concerning the help that the U.S. is um, of, you know, want to offer Nigeria. Do you think it's a good one? Or you think uh, there's something underneath it?